Hello. In this video, we are going to see how to create the water splash simulation. So first we'll import the model for which we are going to use for this simulation. So just I will delete this cube and just I will import the OBJ file, which I have. So just we can go to the file, import and select this OBJ file here. So select. So this is a model I'm going to use for this simulation. So select this. And after importing, just we need to change the positions of this apple. So just I will select this and we'll go to this object, set origin and geometry to origin. And now we'll scale it a little bit and now we'll create uh, the another cube for the domain. Uh, so the domain is nothing but uh, whatever the simulation you want to create, it will simulate in the domain here. So for that, we'll take a cube. So just we'll select this and we'll take an. So we'll create a cube here. So just scale it and make sure you need to cover this thing. And also I want to see this cube in the wireframe mode. So select this, go to the object properties. And here you can see there is an option like viewport display and here display as I will select this Y. So scale it little bit in the Y direction. So that's it. And also just I will move a little bit down. And now we'll create a plane for the actual water splash simulation. Uh, so just we'll take a plane and scale it. And make sure the normals of this plane has to be faced towards this Apple model here. So just I will rotate in these x axis like i will type minus 90 and just move it little bit here and also like uh, scale it little bit so for this plane uh, we will go to this physics tab and just will apply fluid and also type we will click on this flow and here the flow type i will select it liquid and here in the flow source, uh, just I will give the surface emission to like uh, six or something. It depends. So how much quantity of uh, fluid you want, you can give the value. So if you give less value, you'll get the less fluid simulation here. And also make sure you turn on the initial velocity because uh, when we start the simulation, the fluid has to be go to towards this direction here. So just we will select this initial velocity and we can specify the like speed of this velocity. So let's say for time being, I will give 100. So now we have to specify this cube as a domain. So select this. So just select this fluid and type. We need to select this domain. So whatever the simulation we are going to create, it will be done in this domain here. And also here we can increase the resolution for time being. I will give the value to like 150. It depends on your system configuration. And also we have to select this domain type to liquid and just let us turn off this all border collisions. So just we, do, we don't need any type of collision here. So just uncheck this. So we have to come down. And here we have to enable this mesh and just uh, we can give the value like particle radius I can give to like 1.6. And also if you come down, you can see the catch uh, and here we can select this end frame to like 150 or something. So just it depends on your situation, how much, how many frames you want to create the simulation, just you can specify here. And also here type, we have to select this modular. So if you select this modular, we can bake the simulation separately and just we need to select this is resumable. And now again, we will make it like an wire. So we can go to this object properties, uh, display as wire. So now we have to create the collision for this uh, apple here. So we have to select this thing and go to this physics tab. And just we need to select this fluid and type. We need to select this effector. So as we are going to create the collision for this apple, so we will select it as an effector. So here we can give the surface thickness. So like 0 0.04 or something. So now we need to bake the data. So just we will select this domain. And here you can see there is an option like bake data. So click on this. So first we'll stop the baking. We'll see how it is going to work. So just press escape. So we'll click on display. So see the water splash is going towards this direction. I think the normal direction facing towards this thing. So just we'll uh, change the rotation of this plane here. So just we can go to this. And I think we need to give like 90 degrees. And again, we will bake this thing. So again, if you want to bake, uh, just we need to go to this physics tab and select this domain. And here we need to click on this free so that again, we can bake this. And also before that, if you come down, we can see there is an option like field weights. Uh, we need to decrease the gravity. We don't want any gravity here. So again, uh, just we'll go and just we will click on this free. And again, we will select this bake data. So now we will see this. So click on display. So see now the water is splashing towards this apple model. And also we want to see the mesh here. So in order to see the mesh, we'll select the domain and also we'll come down 
you can say there is an option like bake mesh. So select this. So now the baking has been completed and also we will convert this into like a solid. So select this, go to this object and instead of wire, we will select this solid. So now we got this and also just we will shade it like smooth. So right click shade smooth. And also if you want to add the like uh, more smoothness for this, we can add the modifier. So if you select this and we can go to this option like modifiers and here we can search for the smooth. So select this. So if you want to make it more smooth, you can repeat this step. So in this case, I'm going to give it like five. Okay, now we'll play this. So see, we got this nice plus simulation and also it is nicely colliding to this object here. I think the size of the plane is very big. We need to decrease this. So like we will decrease the size of this plane and also we will increase the initial velocity. So just we'll go to back. So I will select this. Uh, so like I will free the data first. So like if I, after selecting this, we can go to this physics and just I will click on this free data. And just we will decrease the size of this plane. So just we'll decrease the size over here. That's okay. And again, uh, we need to make the simulation again. So just we need to select this bit, uh, big data. And before that, we will give the initial velocity to like uh, 120 or something. And now we will see this. So select the domain again, click on this big data. So it depends on your system configuration. It will take time. And also we are going to like bake the mesh. So select this and click on this bake mesh. So now the baking has been completed again. So just we'll see this. So see, now we got this nice uh, collision and now it's look better. So we will add some uh, material to this thing. Uh, so select this, uh, just we can go to this material tab and click on this material. And just we'll name it as like water. And here uh, just we will like decrease the roughness. And also instead of this principal BSDF, we will select it to like glass BSDF. And also just I will decrease the roughness. And here IOR I will give to like 1.33. So we'll go to the shading tab once. So go to the shading tab here. So we want the multicolor for this material. So for that, I will take an like node called volume absorption. So select this and we'll connect it to like volume. And also we will change the renderer to like cycles. Uh, so just we'll go to this thing. And here the render engine, I will select it to like cycles. And also I'm going to use the GPU. And we'll go to this render view. So now you got this thing. And also if you want to see this, uh, we can go to this thing and just we can disable this scene world. So now we got this thing. So we'll give some sort of uh, color to this thing. Uh, so select this. So we can give some sort of like uh, the apple is red. So we can give this to like red color. So just we will give this red color. So we got this thing. So see now we got this. So we'll render and see this. Uh, so just if you want to render, you can go to this render and render image. So I think we need to set this camera. So first, uh, so we'll go to this layout. So we'll set this camera angle. Uh, so search for the camera. So here we can go to this camera view. And also like in the camera, just we'll lock the view. So camera view. So just we'll set this thing. So up to here, it's fine. And just we'll disable this now. And now we'll see this, uh, we'll go to this render. So we got this render, but uh, now we will use the HDR lighting so that we'll get realistic look. Uh, so just we'll add an HDR lighting. So we'll go to the shading tab. And here we can go to this world. And here I will add an environment texture. So select this, connect here. And also I will open this HDRI. You can download the HDRI from Polyheaven. So I will select this and select this thing and open image. And now we will see this. So click on this render, render image. 
So see, now we got this nice uh, realistic water look here. And also we can increase the density. Uh, so for time being, like if I go to this object and select this water and here you can increase the density. So like I will give the value to like three or something. So it's looking good. And now we'll see this. So render, render image. And finally, if you want to increase the resolution, you can increase the resolution while rendering this thing. So like if you select this domain, and if you go to this physics tab, and here, like you can free the data and you can give the resolution here. So suppose if you want to give the resolution like 200 or 250, it's up to you. It depends on your system configuration. So for this tutorial, this is fine. So in this way, we can create this water splash simulation. And also if you want to give the animation for this apple, as I shown in the starting of the tutorial, you can give this like simple. It's you can select this apple and you can give the animation for this location here. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you people like this. So please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.